Hello, everybody, and welcome to another chapter of the Manga Melee podcast. As always, I am your host, Jay, joined by my beautiful co-host, Parf, back for another week to talk to you about uh, manga news, general geekery, anime, stuff like that. You know the deal by now if you're here, I assume. And if it is your first time listening to us, then welcome. How are you doing today, Parf? I'm doing fantastic. Nice. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Just woke up. Uh, getting ready to move. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of about it. Enjoying the nice weather while I still have it over here. Wish I could say the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you see the new One Piece movie yet? I literally just got back from that. Nice. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. I've heard some pretty good stuff about it, mm -hmm. though. Nice. Nice, nice. I haven't seen it myself. But I assume that, yeah, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll catch it on my own time whenever mm -hmm. I um, whenever I hop into One Piece like Oda said I can. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he said it. Oda said it. He, I mean, are people going to claim that they know One Piece better than Oda? Yes, they will. They will. Yeah, no, that. they will. But they don't because it's, it's Oda. It's Oda. So honestly, I'll just uh, I'll hop right into it as far as uh, these th as far as the news goes. The first up, we got uh, four new manga joining the uh, slate of Weekly Shonen Jump in the next few chap uh, next few uh, issues. That's first actually up, we dope. we got uh, Ichinose K no Taizai by Taizan Five, uh, the creator of Tokopi Original Sin, a highly uh, recommended and pretty high selling for something that only has like 14 chapters yeah. two volumes uh sad manga uh up next we got ango gakuen no iroha by nisio Isa. uh you, you might know him as the creator of the monogatari series as well as medica box mm -hmm. a lot of people big fans of his and then uh he's the artist he's getting to work with him for that is yuji iwasaki who has worked on him with a few basically has worked with him for like three manga projects i think one of them is like about like an archery club solving mysteries and mm -hmm. then the other one is about like scavengers or something like that i haven't really looked into it too much uh after that in issue number 52 we got ichigoki sujuchu by seiji hayashi uh coming out not a lot of information out about this one yet. Uh, the creator of this is the mangaka behind something called I'm From Japan, which is kind of like a, a gag martial arts anime about a, a guy who has a martial art designed after every prefecture of Japan. Just and makes then sense. Uh, and issue one for the new year, we have uh, Android 100 by Daisuke Inoshima. Uh, who created a one shot of the same name that won a few awards, and it is a horror manga, horror action manga about a guy who has a big lady android that follows him around. So that should be pretty cool. So lots of interesting stuff coming out. We've got for the first time in a while we'll have a twenty two uh, manga slot a slate in Weekly Shonen Jump, which is pretty rare. Um. How many did you say again? 22. It's a fuck Because we time. have, yeah, basically we currently have a lot of stuff going. I assume something will probably get canceled for this. Maybe Tokyo, for one of these, maybe Tokyo Demon Bride story. That's been kind of bad in reception recently. Um, and I gotta assume another one of these is for when Hunter x Hunter inevitably, unfortunately, stops Dude, uh, don't stop. doing chapters. I mean, it might be like... I don't mean like in the near future. I just mean at some point. I could see him taking another break. Not as long of a break as he's taken mm -hmm. before. But I'm cool with him taking like a year break if he gets tired out again after this time, you know? I mean, I'm cool with him taking as long as he needs to if he's hurting or whatever. But I would prefer if it was shorter rather than longer, of course. And then another new series we got. Uh, one, the creator of Mob and One Punch Man is starting a new manga called Versus with art by Azuma Kiyotaru, the mangaka behind Tenkaichi, King of Fighters. The synopsis of it is, 
For hundreds of years, mankind has been oppressed by the rise and invasion of its natural enemy, the Demon Tribe. The world was ruled by the Great Demon King and his 47 subordinate Demon Kings. The people lived in fear, but they named 47 people selected from all over the world as heroes and, prepar and prepared to fight against the Great Demon King's army. And now a desperate mission is about to begin, with the very survival of the human race at stake. Sounds a little bit like a Record of Ragnarok style yeah. thing, with like the 47 on 47 matchups uh obviously not like historical base but it's probably going to be like a tournament type mm. deal and we I'm all love tournaments see... yeah and it's one doing it so it should be pretty decent i mean i know some people have like qualms about where parts of um one punch man have gone but overall solid story as well as mob psycho so i'm excited to see this and the fact that he's not doing like a web comic that he's drawing it where he's drawing it first should give him a little bit more breathing room too. Yeah, so versus sounds pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'll be definitely giving it a shot as someone who likes you know I like it action slash battle anime and one is one of the better mangaka of our time. Oh, for sure. Especially in like when it comes to people who are doing like stuff in the shonen space so i'm gonna yeah like i said i'm gonna check that out up next we got some pretty big news dan to dan is getting a uh or don to don dan to dan <laughs> pronounced in the most american way possible dan to dan dan to dan is getting an anime adaptation according to a reliable leaker in 2023 mm -hmm. that is pretty sick i'm look, definitely looking forward to that um who do you want to do the, uh, who would you want to do this? I know a lot of people want Wit working on this. Uh, my first reaction was Wit, and then my second reaction immediately is, you know, let's just give it to MAPPA. That, you know, they need more work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I want those people to see their families ever. Yeah, MAPPA, I don't know if MAPPA would be the one to do it, because they just have so much stuff that they're working <laughs> on. Uh, Wit would be a pretty good, Wit would be uh, cool. I also think Bones. I was gonna say could Bones. Do a, Bones could do a good job. Uh, Madhouse could probably. Mm -hmm. um, Madhouse could do an okay job if they like really put their brain to it. And then Stu, for, as far as like lesser known things, like quote lesser known to like the mainstream manga audience maybe, uh, Studio Eight Bit, who does a, uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime yeah. as well as uh, they're doing Blue Lock right now. I think that they would do a pretty good job as well. I agree. Um, yeah, maybe like A1 or something. I just wanted to go to MAPPA so they never get to see their families again. Yeah, that's understandable, honestly. Yeah. I get you. That's that's valid. You're valid. Yeah, thank, thank you. Barf does not represent the uh, views of the <laughs> podcast. What did you say you were going to school for? You know what? Never mind. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Where do you live again? Like, what's your address? <laughs> um, yeah, I know a lot of people are super hype about Don to Don getting a, mm -hmm. uh, an anime adaptation. This has been one of the most hyped up new gen. I was like, gonna say truly like, new gen manga. It's kind of like top opinion. three most hyped. Yeah, it's up there as far as like the sh the jump plus stuff goes. Yeah, it, I would give it like a solid fourth probably in jump plus because you got obviously spy families at the top there i mean it's it's spy family you're not beating that then we got either chainsaw man or kaiju number eight those are the two and three slots and then like you could and then then we got dan to dan then we got dan to dan correct i think that i don't think anybody can really argue with that logic no i think that's fair yeah Although, I, I like Dawn to Dawn more than uh, Chainsaw Man in some ways, honestly. It's fair. It, it's Fujimoto's uh, lineage there. That's one of his assistants working on that, so, you know. Uh, we also, Speaking of anime adaptations, we got Dead Mount Death Play by Narita and uh, Shinji, Shinji Fujimoto is that's getting an be, anime. That's going to be fucking awesome. This is pretty sick. Uh, but, Narita are they going to the keep guy... it faithful? Yeah. <laughs> Rita is the guy who did um, Dorara and Fate Strange Fake and Bacano, one of the best creators out there right now as far as manga goes. Um, 
I'm really looking forward to this. Dead Mount Deathplay is super fun. It's a reverse isekai about like a necromancer mm. getting sent to our world. It's it's pretty etchy at points. I will say that. So I'm wondering pretty? if the, yeah, like it, it's got nudity and stuff. So I'm wondering if the they'll probably censor <laughs> that. I assume. And Which that's is the fine. Shame of like it, all. it does. I don't. I don't necessarily need to see nudity in my anime. Are you trying to tell like me that. you don't want to see that? I think it was like two pages filled with just a uh, lesbian orgy. You don't want to see that? No. I mean, I don't mind. Dude, that's it. fucked I just up. Don't, that, I don't it adds to the to plot. It. it adds to the story. Okay. I read it for the plot. You're right. <laughs> that is a hundred percent true. Uh, I'm excited. This should for that. be pretty sick. I'm yeah. not sure who they'll get to. I, like I, I'm honestly. I don't think there's a studio announced. Here. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. The amount to play studio. Let me Google real quick. Yeah, it does not have a studio at the moment, but it is. I know it is a, a Square, a Squeenix, Square Enix uh, property. So studios that they work kind of closely mm-hmm. with. Maybe like um, I think it's. Is it White Fox that does uh, ReZero? Yeah. Might be interested in that sort of thing. I, they're also, they also do Isekai a lot, so I could see White Fox potentially doing it. That'd be kind of cool. And, uh, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Too. I'm honestly, that's probably, like, pretty up there. I'm not expecting it to get... I, I really don't expect it to get, like, a super great adaptation just because of, like, the nature of it. But... A lot of Narita's stuff has a pretty good track record for adaptations, though. So, uh, like Dorora and Bacano. I think Fate Strange Fate got an announcement somewhat recently, too. So, big big ups for him. He's he's mm-hmm. doing a lot of stuff right now. Got his finger in many pies, one might say. And then uh, we got as far we got a little bit of smaller news. My Hero Academia is going to be on break, and in, uh, in the next. In next week's Weekly Shonen Jump 50, it will continue as scheduled in Weekly Shonen Jump 51. That's probably the only time I'm de- I'm not I'm upset about that. Cause uh, yeah. they kind of left it off on a cliffhanger. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Well, I'm a they heard y'all one. were compl- They heard y'all were complaining. I guess. <laughs> Listen, they get one good chapter every 30, and I, I'm the bad guy. Yes. Uh, According to Twitter.com. Yes. yes. Uh, okay, and I will go ahead and move on to some sales updates and the TOC. So, as for sales updates, not a lot of milestones being hit uh, this time. I know Chainsaw Man, I think it just hit like 18... Yeah, Chainsaw Man just hit 18 million sold. I believe, as well as Black Clover just hit 18 million sold, and Kaiju Number no. Eight just hit 8.8 <laughs> million sold. So they were celebrating that, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Anime adaptation coming out for that soon, by the way. Chainsaw Man, I fully expect to see it selling yet even more because again, they have a pretty solid anime adaptation going on right now that we'll talk about later. No, for sure. Uh, let's see, and I'll do. The weekly Shonen Jump. This is the TOC for last week, actually. Issue 49. Uh, so we got the lead color page going to One Piece. And then at number one, we have Blue Box. Number two, this is a surprising one. And number two, we have me and Robico. I thought you were about to say P6. I was going to go mad. And number three... We have Sakamoto Days. At number four, we have Jujutsu Kaisen. Then we have a color page for Kane and Banashi again. Big. This is a lo- it's getting a ton of them. Number five, we have Witch Watch. At number six, we have The Elusive Samurai. Then we have a color page for a one shot called Ayashi no Ayashi. Okay. At number seven, we've got Black Clover. Then we have a color page for Ginka and Luna. At number eight, we have Tokyo Demon Bride Story. At number nine, we have My Hero Academia. <laughs> really far down on the uh, Man, block fuck there, him. actually. At number ten, Mission Yozakura Family. 
At number 11, we've got P6. Hashtag fuck P6. Hashtag fuck P6. At number 12, we've got Hunter Hunter. And at number 13, Undead Unluck. Number 14, High School Family. Number 15, Mashal. And we have Rory Dragon Absent. And Weekly Shonen Jump issue number 50. We'll have Ichi no Seke no Taizai, that new series we were mm-hmm. talking about on the cover. And color pages for Sakamoto Days, Witch Watch, and Me and Robico. So pretty good, uh, pretty good table of contents mm-hmm. these last two weeks. I'm I'm happy for uh, Sakamoto Days being up there. Happy of for course, Blue Box. Surprised that My Hero and Hunter Hunter are so far down. Actually, if I'm being honest, I was gonna say. My Hero makes sense because it's going on break for a week, but still it's going on break. But Hunter Hunter makes no sense to me. That shit's absolute gas. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's been go- like, it's been on hiatus for like seven years, so you lose a lot of readers that way. There might be people who are just reading volumes of it instead, which is kind of odd to me. Uh, I mean, you know, there's just any number of things you could say about it. True, but true. I know that on the... I saw the survey results that they sent out, and Hunter Hunter was rated the best chapter this week, so... As it should be. Yeah, definitely agree with that. So hopefully it should see a little bit of a boost next time. Up next, we got the... Uh, we have the Oricon charts for October. Mm-hmm. So this is the top 20 series of the uh, month and how much each has sold. Mm-hmm. Okay, starting at number 20, we have uh, We Are the Main Characters of the Demon World by Osamu Nishi and Atsushi Numa and Konoshima with 141,438 copies sold. At number 19, we have Don to Don by Yukino Butatsu mm-hmm. selling 143,264 copies. Definitely expect that to go up pretty fast. Uh, sure. Not necessarily on the Oricon charts, but in the uh, charts in general. They've been doing a pretty big uh, media campaign in countries all around the world where they have these like giant manga like volumes that people can flip through and take pictures with and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then if the anime adaptation gets announced for you know 2023, I, fo- I expect it to sell pretty well too. Oh, for sure. Uh... At number 18, we have What Did You Eat Yesterday by Fumi Yoshinaga, selling 147,140 copies. Uh, This is a pretty interesting title. I'm not sure if I've ever heard about this. Let me Google it real quick. So, let's see. A Japanese slice of life uh, series focusing on the relationship between a middle-aged gay couple living in Tokyo, Japan. That's pretty cool, actually. I might check that out. See, Shiro is a serious that, yeah. and reserved lawyer, while Kinji is a cheerful and outgoing hairdresser. Each chapter focuses on Shiro and Kinji as they encounter a particularly comedic or dramatic scenario, often focused around domestic life, workplace humor, and LGBT rights in Japan. Many of the chapters depict a sequence in which Shiro, a gourmand, purchases food and prepares a meal for himself and Kinji. Shiro nom- nom- narrates each step to create an each dish through his internal monologue and frequently prepares meals that have significance in relation to the plots or themes of the chapter. The collected Tonkabon editions of each series contain the recipe for the main dish prepared in each edition. The events of the series progress in real time. Shiro and Kenji were respectively 43 and 41 years old when the series began, and as of chapter 101, are 52 and 50 years old respectively. This is pretty sick, actually. I'm adding... This is going right on my plan and to read right now. I I want to check this out. So that is uh, What Did You Eat Yesterday, yeah. also known as Kino Nani Tibeta. Adding to my what did you read eat? right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll, probably, well, I'll probably give that a try. That sounds boss. Yeah, I'll actually. give that a try. And number... We got some familiar faces in the uh, the teens here. At number 17, we've got Taku- uh, Record Ragnarok by Takumi Fukui, Shinya Umi- Umimura, and Chika Aji. That shit goes hard. 149,890 copies. Agreed, it goes incredibly hard. Loving the current fight. Um, 
Yeah. And yeah, once that's over, that edition, <sighs> that volume will sell like hotcakes too. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. For sure. And number 16, we got Blue Box by Koji Miura selling 150,690 copies. Good for it. Doing well on the table of contents too. So overall, a, a good week for Koji Miura. And number 15, we have The Summer Hikaru Died by Mok Mok Lin, selling 171,597 copies. That's pretty sick. Uh, monster, boys love type deal. Um, heard a lot of good stuff about this one. On my plan to read, have not gotten around to it yet. I know I'm terrible. At uh, number 14, we've got Kaguya-sama Love is War by Aka Akasaka, selling 171,829 copies. That just ended this week. Yep. Expect the sales to go up right. pretty well yep. once the new last volume comes out. I was about to say yeah. that, yeah. And apparently they've also got a bunch of side stories coming out for it too because there's significant plot points that have not been... Yeah, but like those are going to be, from what I understand, novels and not... Yeah, manga. yeah, not 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 manga. Yeah, yeah it's going to be like Kakashi Guide. The author wants to like do that. purely stories now. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Yeah, he, he wants to do purely stories, but he doesn't mind working. He's he's not going to illustrate anymore. He doesn't mind yeah, yeah, working yeah, yeah. with illustrators. It's just he's not going to illustrate like he did. The very good distinction. Right there. Some. Yeah, for sure. It's a lot less work. I'm sure it's because of how much of a grind it is to do the weekly thing. Oh, for sure. Uh, at number thirteen, we got Slam Dunk by Haruichi Furudate, uh, selling. 190,237 copies. Uh, sorry, it actually sold 179,685 copies. The one that sold 190,237 190, copies is Haikyuu mm-hmm. by Haruichi Furudate. That's my fault. That's at number 12. At number 11, we got Aoyashi by Yugo Kobayashi and Nahuiko Ieno. Selling 193,516 copies. And now we're in the top 10. At number 10, we have Jujutsu Kaisen by Gege Akutame. Selling 225,595 copies. A somewhat decent leap there. At number 9, we have Tokyo Avengers by Ken Wakui. Selling Mm -hmm. 249,890 copies. Um, This... The last volume of this is coming out in January. Expect it to explode in sales once box sets and stuff are out. This is going to sell like hotcakes, even more so than it already does. At number eight, we have Welcome to Demon School, Rumukun, by Osamu Nishu and Atsushi Suduna Uma and Konoshima. Oh, that's a... Spe- it, we are the main characters of the Demon Lord. It's a spinoff of Welcome to Demon School. That makes sense. Uh, that's that sold 254,611 copies. And number seven, a familiar face, but one we have not seen on the on the boards in a bit. We have My Dress Up Darling by Shinichi Fukuda showing up at number seven, selling 260,601 copies. Cool to see it back. Uh, I still have not seen the anime or read the manga of this, but I've heard pretty decent things. Mm-hmm. They're pretty decent things. At number six, we have Kingdom by Yasui Sahara, selling 273,522 copies. Obligatory. Someone licensed Kingdom in the United Please States already. Dear God. It's absolutely insane that we can't get this here. We can get a Kingdom anime, we can't get a Kingdom manga. Yeah. It's probably because partially because of the anime that we don't get the uh, manga here, probably. actually. Because people don't watch it here. Yeah. For the most part. Uh, then breaking into the top five, we've got this uh pretty unknown thing at number five. It's a uh, One Piece by Ichiro no, really. Oda, selling five hundred and seventeen thousand six hundred and forty eight copies. Massive leap. In the I I think it had there. a small short film debut just now. Just very very low key short film. Well, but this is Japanese in- sales, and they were already they already had it. <laughs> D- indie film actually. True. True. Uh, I think. Did One Piece have a new volume release? Probably. Uh, I don't think so, because I keep up with... It might have. I, I tend to keep up on that. It might have had to get a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what... I guess it just exploded for some reason. I don't think yeah. it had a new volume release, no. actually. 
Yeah, the last volume that released... Oh, wait, actually, this is... Sorry, I was looking at the, uh... Then off volumes. Volume 104... Oh, actually, yeah, volume 104 released last... Again? Yeah, volume oh, in fuck. Japan, it released on, uh, November 4th, so that's why. Okay. Uh, the I knew about the cover for volume movie. 4 is incredibly hard, actually. Let me... I'll uh, post it in our recording channel for you, real quick. Or, uh, yeah, post it in the manga mail one. Here you go. It's gonna post twice, but... Oh, it's that it. cover. Yeah. I love the... Actually hard. The, co the colors are insanely hard on it. I... It's spoilers if you're not caught up with One Piece, by the way, and you're wondering what this looks like. It's spoilers yeah, for the form. Hard. But honestly, if you have not been spoiled on what it looks like already, I am you, shocked. I am absolutely man. shocked. Yeah. So, One Piece Volume 104, if that explains a lot. Uh, 517,648 copies mm. after, like, two days or something like that. And then, uh, at number four... We've got Blue Lock by Munyuki Kanashiro and Yusuke Nomura, selling 644,525 copies, getting that anime boost. Uh, at number three, we've got My Hero Academia by Kohei Horikoshi, selling 886,274 copies. Also a bit of an anime boost, but I th think... I don't think... Uh, did a My Hero volume drop, and I don't know? I don't keep up with that. I don't keep up with that either. Let me check the wiki real quick. I don't keep up with Mid Hero Academia. Bro, calm down. You're gonna get us yelled at. <laughs> You're gonna get us fucking cancelled. Uh, no, actually. So, they're doing pretty good off of just uh, pure sales from the anime giving it a boost, I assume. Cool. Good for you, my hero. And then the top two are two... Th or the and that sold 886,274 mm -hmm. copies, by the way. Pretty big jump there as well. And then the top two have an even larger jump. At uh, number two, we have Chainsaw Man by Tatsuki Fujimoto, selling 1,200,048 copies. This is mostly backlog, from what I understand, of the old volumes. Um, I, feel, I do expect it to do pretty well, because people are eating this adaptation up. I'm loving it pretty much, pretty well, too. I'm actually probably going to go watch the this week's episode after we get off from recording this. I'm super late on it. I've just been busy moving and shit. And hey, busy. take your time. <laughs> and then, at number one, surprising nobody. <laughs> You're ridiculous. We've got uh, Spy Family by <gasps> Tatsuya Endo. I know, surprising. <gasps> Selling one... When? One million, seven hundred and thirty-two thousand, nine hundred and eighty-three copies. Dude. Absolutely massive. When is that We're shit going to see... calm down? We're gonna see this hit five million by the or five million. See, we're, gonna see this hit, we're gonna see this hit like fifty million. People are gonna like start being like, "Is this like just be like?" I guarantee you, this has already happened, and if not, it's going to happen. People are gonna start making videos. Spy Family passes this much in sales. Is this the new One Piece? Is this the One Piece killer? It's like, yeah. No, nah, not the same. I mean, <laughs> yeah, dog. Of, it is. Not, it is, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Same exact crowd, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our Oricon uh, weekly, or monthly, sorry, monthly. top Thank 20 you. for October. I'll just, I'll run through them real quick. Wait, was Hunter Hunter on what? the list? It was not. It hasn't really, it, I don't think the volume has released yet. I, mean, actually, I, I just, I know I bought a volume, a Japanese volume recently. I don't remember if it's just released or what. I actually know, I it just... It releases in uh, November, which yeah. is this month. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. probably at some so point. This I, month. I would ex I would expect to see that yeah. on the list whenever it so, comes out. I'll uh, run through these real quick in order, starting at number one. We've got a. Uh, well, actually, I'll start at number twenty, just so <laughs> I, I think it. I think it runs build it better. Up, build it up. And at number twenty, we got we are the main characters of the Demon World, a Rumaku, the Rumakun spinoff. Number nineteen, Don to Don. Eighteen. What did you eat yesterday? Number 17, Record Ragnarok. 16, Blue Box. 15, The Summer Hikaru Died. 14, Kaguya-sama, Love is War. 13, Slam Dunk. 12, Haikyuu. 11, Aoyashi. 10, Jujutsu Kaisen. 9, Tokyo Avengers. 8, Welcome to Demon School, Rumakun. 
7. My Dress of Darling. 6. Kingdom. 5. One Piece. 4. Blue Lock. 3. My Hero Academia. 2. Chainsaw Man. And at number 1, topping it off, we've got Spy Family. A pretty, pretty typical overall, I would say. We've got some interesting ones creeping in there with us, like Slam Dunk. What did you eat yesterday? Um, My Dress of Darling showing back up again is cool. And uh, Blue Box doing well is cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I like that those sales, honestly. And now we're moving on to everybody's favorite portion of the week. We're talking about what we read this week. So, Parf, have you been reading anything this week or are you been busy? Besides the weeklies, no. Nothing new. Just catching Hurt. up on Hunter Hunter. Hurt. Yeah, I've been reading the weeklies too. We can talk about those in a sec. I'll talk about some of the other stuff that I've been mm-hmm. uh, hopping into real quick. I've been hopping into a few series. So at first we've got... Uh, let's see. Okay, so first one that I started reading is um, Dora Hodora. Okay. Okay. Started reading that because I wanted. I I just wanted to check out the art style of the manga, and I've heard that it it's better than the anime, even though I, I like the. I forgot anime you didn't start reading it. Yeah, I but, didn't. Yeah, it goes hard. I've heard, so I'm I'm like. Ten chapters into that, enjoying it well enough. Um, it does go incredibly hard. The art is way better than the anime and the anime looks fine in my opinion i i didn't mind but it's one of those things where like you can't really you can't match the pen sometimes you know Mm -hmm. Uh, another thing i started was behind the supermarket smoking with you uh Mm -hmm. this is a smoking rom-com that's been doing the rounds pretty popularly um it's basically about a salary man who Every day when he goes home, the thing he looks forward to doing is seeing this girl at the conve- who works at the convenience store that he goes to. Because she's super nice and brightens his day. And eventually, one day, he goes to smoke behind the supermarket. And he gets invited to... He gets invited to smoke back there by a mysterious young lady who's uh, named Tayama. Important note, the other girl is named Yamada. And, spoiler alert, they're actually the same person, and he can't tell the difference because she moves her hair to another way and just blatantly lies to him about it. Alright, it's not it's, it's, that part. I mean... How dare it you helps lie him... to my king? Yeah, I get you. But it helps, oh, him, it helps him, like... It helps him, um... Like kind of talk about his feelings and stuff like that yeah. about her to her without him realizing if that makes sense. All right. If we're going to go and, down that route, it makes sense. And they introduce, they have a manager character in it that is like a 40 year old, like <laughs> woman who vapes, which is for, and she's pretty cool. Uh, as, other than that, I also read, I read a bit of my, GG well played volume since that's getting uh, an, an anime adaptation mm-hmm. soon as well as a live action adaptation. As I should. I'm looking forward to that. I'm all, I always like seeing fighting games represented more. And then, uh, yeah, and then I just read the weeklies like JJK, Akane Banashi, After mm-hmm. God, stuff like that. JJK was really good this week. That shit goes hard. Holy shit. I don't know if you read. Hard. Did you read like the most recent chapter yeah, yeah, that I read came this out morning. today? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I read that while I was waiting for you to get Dude, home. that's the get best home. part about living on the East Coast. I wake up and the chapters are ready. I can just that's make true. a quick pot of coffee, sit down on my couch, and I just go through them. That's fair. I mean, because of my sleep schedule working the night yeah, shift, yeah, yeah. it's the same for me, honestly. That, but I do yeah, I was going to say, for you, yeah, it's probably yeah. the same. But yeah. That shit went, like Australian time or some shit. That shit went ridiculously hard. Yeah. My boy... Uh, we'll, we're going to talk about some JJK spoilers for the latest chapter real quick. So if you want to, if you want to avoid those, if you're catching up with the smash it JJK, then I would recommend skipping forward about uh, 
two minutes or so, and we should be done yes. talking about it after that. So you've had your warning. We are talking about it now. I'm so glad Chozo is getting some shine. It's been awesome to see Yuki show up some more in the story too. It's true. I lo- I liked the reveal that Yuki was a star plasma vessel and that she can like avatar talk to the other star plasma former star oh, plasma that was so vessels cool. and stuff. And I guess they kind of revealed that Watingen doesn't have gender necessarily. They were a woman in their past life as well. Mm-hmm. And all the star, so that's why all the star plasma vessels are female. Uh, Chozo fighting uh, Kenjaku is sick. Uh, I'm excited to see what he pulls out to even the odds a bit because he's been getting absolutely smoked Dude, as he the, as he should uh, right now. He's honestly. calling on the strength of his brothers, and as we know, yeah. there's nothing more powerful than combined strength. True. So. <laughs> Maybe they'll jump him or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> All the spirits come out and we'll just start beating the shit out of him. I don't know if you noticed the weird... Vi- I assume it was a weird Viz translation in that, but... Like, Kinjaku says that Suguru Geto and Satoru Gojo both have cursed spirit manipulation in that chapter. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't... Yeah, I think that's... It's either that's true and we just don't know. Yeah. Or... It's not true, and it's translation error. I think it's translation error, because Viz just has god-awful translations for JJK sometimes. It's the same guy, or it was at least, who translated uh, Demon Slayer, and Demon Slayer also had a pretty Demon ass Slayer translation from Viz. I'm talking, I talked about it before on the pod, but like simple stuff like Tanjiro getting his own dad's name wrong, and like people using, people referring to other characters when they should be talking about themselves and mm. stuff like that. Just simple mistakes that I can only assume were not caught because they used machine translation at points for it because they got lazy. And it's like, if all you have to do is run through a machine, give me the Viz translator job. I'll take that coin. Shit. <laughs> yeah, so JJK, pretty good chapter. It, I'm pretty sure it's not on break next week, so I'm excited it's for not. that. Um, I need to see what Chozo pulls out. I'm getting some major death flags from my boy, unfortunately. But I guess we'll kind of see where it goes. It's... Yeah, he's probably pretty fucked. But we'll get to see Yuki show out, at least, so that's cool. Finally. Uh, Kane Banache also had a really good chapter this week. Basically... Well, first off, it made me realize that in story for Akane Banashi, it's been like seven years already. Um, well, that's one thing. That's one big thing to find out. She's reached the point of her journey where she's allowed to go travel out and learn from new masters. Because right now she only knows like the fundamentals mm-hmm. and it's kind of uh, boning her a little bit when it comes to being able to actually do Rakugo professionally. Because there's like a rule in Rakugo where... You can't do rock on the like on the program. You can't do a story that is of the same genre or by the same artist if you can fit a fan between it, like a a, a mm-hmm. paper fan folded up. And all of her stories basically are pretty common genres and authors, so she just kind of wasn't able to perform when she really wanted to. So she had to let her one of her basically her frenemy perform for her mm-hmm. he's more of like a he's more of a friend that just is acting kind of sundere is what i would say because he helps her out every chance he gets and so now she's going to learn different stories from different uh rakugo uh, performers so she can have a bit of a wider diversity in her skill set so I'm looking forward to seeing what she learns. This is, I too once again, a slapper. And there was a lot of uh, RPG talk in this week's uh, thing because they compared, like, they compared her skill set to, like, a beginner mage's skill set in Dragon Quest or something like you that. You love to see She has to go and level up. Yeah. There's one thing Mangaka love. It's Dragon Quest. <laughs> it's true. And, uh, I also read Hunter Hunter this week. Hunter x Hunter has had some pretty great chapters, in my opinion. 
I would argue loving, this piece the best. I'm loving the Nin abilities that are coming out. Um, They're also some people are, turning it into a game a little bit. Yeah. I know some people aren't really feeling like the, um, the gang war stuff going on because there's so much intrigue, but I'm loving it, honestly. If you... If you don't like it, I, I kind of get where you're coming from if you're bored by it or whatever, but also maybe not exactly the manga you want to be reading. Dude, you know. are you kidding me? I'm loving it just so because we got a pit, another shot of he's soaked up with his hair down. And, yeah. you know... Oh, also, obviously, we're talking Hunter Hunter spoilers, yes. spoilers real quick, but it won't be that long, so... That shit's fire. Yeah. I like the game more. I like how they were, like, sitting in that room and they're like, alright, we need another emitter. Who's gonna be the emitter here? It, it just reminds yeah. me of like uh, when you're like playing an RPG and um, like a, a squad mate dies like alright guys we need to find another healer someone get a healer up in here yeah it was definitely MMO they were doing an MMO. they were like preparing for a raid yeah that's exactly shit, yes thank you that's what the, I was going for there <laughs> they're tra- yeah. tra- preparing for a raid in that room it's like well I want to be a, a, a conjurer no you're going to be in the midder if anybody is a raid boss it would be Hisoka so I don't um, they said the they said you're one of the strongest here so we don't want to go up against you yeah I, I like that they said you're one of the of our generation actually yeah they said they didn't want to get between Hisoka and the troop fighting yeah. because it was the greatest of their generation fighting I mean Hisoka is a pretty like, <laughs> he's a well known character in the setting because he was like yeah. a floor master and then that guy said arena. I was like, who's your favorite? He's like, well, all of them, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all he right, says that. Boy, he's chill. just like, yeah, I can't hate on somebody who's yeah, honest. He's like, I don't least. dislike honest people. It's like, all right, homeboy, chill, all right? Your fanboy. And then someone's like, I want to get their autographs. Like, chill. Yeah, that's great. Like, they're basically like the equivalent of the people who love school shooters and shit like that in our they're, world, I would say. I was gonna say, murders. they're the people who are, like, eroticizing uh, Jeffrey Dahmer right now. Yeah, literally, yeah. though, because, like, people don't real people who have not read the Karapika prequel manga don't realize how fucked up the Phantom Troop were when they were doing the... Cur- First of all, it's genocide, which is just unequivocally fucked up yes. and horrific no matter how you do it. But they went, like, the extra mile. Like, they're going to super hell after they die. Yeah. Like, and not I don't know. If you haven't if you haven't heard about it, go on. Just go and look it up, because there's a pretty mm-hmm. big description of it. Honestly, what they, like, how Tagashi showed genocide was so, like, horrific, and the description of it is so insane that I, do, I don't really want to, like, read it over the pod. As fucked no, as that sounds. Probably a good idea. So just go, just go ahead and Google the Kurta genocide uh, yes. panels if you get a chance. It's not, it's not a uh, graphic art or anything. It's fully just black background, white text description of what happened. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to worry about seeing anything too gross. But the description can up. be quite harrowing. Yes. Definitely, we'll say that. Still quite fucked. Yeah, and then uh... <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Yeah, so Hunter Hunter, great, great, manga. great chapters. Great chapters. I'm <laughs> so happy that it's here, mm-hmm. um, and I'll be reading it as long as it is in fact here. Same. Uh, I... okay. A little bit of other news I forgot to mention earlier. This is way off topic, but talking about Hunter Hunter reminded me we're having a JoJo's uh, anime. Of, and manga event happening soon and uh-huh. Rocky himself is going to be there part 9 announcement? that's what people are theorizing um, and I saw people uh, we're going to talk Jojo spoilers a little bit So, if you, <laughs> uh, but not for part 7 or part 8 it, yeah. I mean not if you know the spoilers we're not going to go like if you read them you might consider it spoilers but if you don't you wouldn't know is what I guess I'm yeah. saying if that makes sense mm-hmm. um I haven't read part seven or part eight, so don't come at me with spoilers about them on Twitter, please, guys. Uh, but I've I've seen, and this is spoiler talk here. I've seen people saying that part nine might be a new Jolene because uh... the the JoJo's magazine cover had like both the Josuke's on it, 
and yeah. Jolene. Uh, that's the theory. I was going to get into that. Yeah. That's the theory. They're like, oh, oh new Jolene. I'm like, damn, yeah, maybe. Or he could just be fucking with us. I think that would be sick, honestly. I think it'd be sick. Um, but I'm pretty sure JoJo Part 9 is the end. Yeah. And that'll suck because I, I've been wanting them to do what the video game did and bring all the JoJo's together. I could see JoJo Lens being a crossover, though. I honestly could see it being that. I could see it. Like, it makes sense to me. Yeah, but we need Dio over heaven or whatever the fuck it is. True. I mm. need I need I need to see that manga in. I'm sure there's a Dio in another universe they can bring in if they have uh, like Diego. I mean they shit. will. They will. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe make this Dio an actual villain, but that's just so What if Dio is the Diego next JoJo? Diego is just like sad sometimes. Like D- not D- <laughs> Like, Diego's not, not a good deal. I mean, he's a he's a good character. He's just like he's not what people he's not what a lot of people want from like a Dio character yeah. necessarily, which is like mustache twirling evil. He's more of like a a rival. Yeah, I we guess, need a lot of the time. I'm just saying, part nine. That's where I'm at. J- Dio is the new JoJo, and Joe Lynn is the new Dio. Got it. Wouldn't that just be? F- Part five, no, because Giorno with, is with his sec- own man. I mean, yeah, but like, and he's that's technically like the, that Jonathan's. Was like the, that was like the bit of part nine was that oh no, dude, they have Dio as a protag, basically. Even though he doesn't really show the Dio, even though side and he's also it. not technically rela- related to jo- Dio because it's a uh, Jonathan sperm. I think that I I get what you're saying, but I think that it's still considered like half and half. Yeah, no, it is. It is. Um, <laughs> yeah. I just I just wanted to specifically bring in the uh, good old. You just theory. want to talk about cum. I get you. Yeah, I just want to talk about Jonathan's cum. That's fair. That's fair. I you just don't, think, don't Rocky think Rocky went enough on it. You. Don't you dare edit this out, Lynn. I I just don't think Rocky talked enough about Jonathan's cum. That's fair. Lynn, if you edit this out, you just hate JoJo. It's true. It's so true. don't edit it out. And then, uh, yeah, so that's what I've been reading this week. Yeah. Uh, I know it's not a lot. Uh, sorry, guys, I've been kind of busy. I have been He's watching been anime, however, too. I, I don't know not. if you've watched any of the anime this season, but I, there's some slappers out there. I have there. watched two episodes, and those two episodes, not even two, one and a half. And those two, one and a half episodes were Chainsaw Man. I'll just say, Golden Kamui, doing great, going great, uh... Chainsaw Man, going great. Blue Lock, eh. But I was never really a big fan of the <laughs> El manga. Bozo. Spy, Spy Family, doing great. Uh, DIY, doing great. Akiba Made, we're doing great. It's a good season. If you if you are somebody who's been on the fence about watching seasonal anime, I think that this is a great season to jump into. There's, mm-hmm. I think there's like three or four shows for everybody this season, legitimately. So... The ones that I would recommend are mostly DIY, Golden Kamui, Chainsaw Man, and Bochi the Rock. You got like four different genres right there. Bochi is so good. It's like a K-On, but good. Yeah, I said it. I said it. (laughs) It's super funny. Uh, Each episode is like directed by a new visual director and stuff like that. So they all add their own twist to it, and it's super stylized. Music is fantastic, and they've actually been, like, throwing us when they play music and whatnot, which is awesome. It's something that does not happen that often in mm. music anime. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So I think now we can move on to everybody's favorite part of the week. This is, uh, where we do our non-manga recommendations. So, Parf, what are you recommending this week for non-manga stuff? I had this prepared. Um... A 20th Century Fox classic, uh, premiere series uh, on VHS. I'm sure you can get on DVD too. Uh, today's stars, Tomorrow Legends, uh, Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson. Uh, White Man Can't Jump. Oh, okay. Deep cut. What? Why White Man Can't Jump? You know. Is this just like your favorite movie? No. I just have a VHS of it now. Okay, cool. I right, can't really White explain Man it. Can't jump. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, my non, <laughs> okay. Uh, my my non manga recommendation for the week. Uh, I got a twofer for you. So my first one is the Weird Al Yankovic movie. Okay. It's it's on Roku. It's on the Roku channel and it's free if you have a Roku. It's really good. Daniel Radcliffe kills it. Um, it's don't go in expecting honesty is what I'll say, but in the best way. Like it's fantastic. It's like a parody of like Bohemian Rhapsody and in, in Rocket Man and stuff like that. It's fantastic. And then uh, my next one I got uh, recommended is actually a video game. Uh, I'm highly recommending uh, Hitman 3. Uh, Hitman The Word of Assassination Trilogy is super good. If you're somebody who likes uh, like sandbox type games and uh, you know creatively coming up with ways to assassinate people, then go give Agent 47 a spin. I'm pretty sure it's on sale on Steam right now for pretty cheap. You can also get it on consoles like you know your PlayStation mm, 5 yeah. or PS4 or whatever. It's re it's really good, and I need people on my friends list who also play, so I can be number one above people and not just number <laughs> one by myself. <laughs> hey, I, I gotta get it. I gotta get it out there somehow. Okay, it's really fun though. Honestly, um, highly recommend it. Uh, I think that they're they're giving away the first one for free at this point. Possibly, I could be wrong though. So, yeah, check that out if you got the time and got something that you can play it on. All right. I think that just about does it for us this week, guys. Sorry for the short episode. Um, didn't really have a whole lot of time to read a lot of stuff this week or prepare because, again, I'm moving. Um, I didn't want to take down my shelf yet. I've been I've been waiting to do that <laughs> until after I'm done yes. recording because I just didn't want to have like a blank thing. But yeah, so we should we should be good for the next episode. I don't think my move will affect it because okay. everything is pretty much prepared. Okay. Um, but if it does, I will. You guys will be the first ones to know via the Twitter account. And uh, it, it won't be delayed for too long if that does happen. So keep an eye on the, the Twitter account for that. If you guys want to follow us on Twitter, by the way, you can follow us at MangaMeleePod. That's all one word. That's at MangaMeleePod to follow the podcast on Twitter. Yes. If you want to follow me in particular, um, honestly, strongly been considering deleting Twitter. Not necessarily because of Elon Musk. More Bye. because of, uh, more because of like... Uh, other things that have happened on the plot not even on the platform necessarily just like i've been having to just see so much dumb stuff on the platform it's it's very similar i'm feeling similar to how i felt before i deleted facebook and that was a huge weight off my shoulders so i could definitely see myself deleting uh twitter soon but it, even if i do delete my personal twitter i'll still be on there on the podcast twitter just a lot less so yeah, if you want to follow me, even though I might delete that shit, this is a long-winded way of me saying you can follow me at ShardBased on Twitter. That's at Shard as in a shard of glass, and at Based as in Lil B, the Based God. We didn't talk about the One Piece movie at all. Oops. It's uh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm sure Len and Christian awesome. and maybe my twin brother and Jazz will uh, talk about it for bros who think. Uh <laughs> So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to follow Parf, you can't. He doesn't want you to perceive him. So get fucked. Sorry. <laughs> Don't actually get fucked. I love our fans. Uh, but yeah, Parf, Parf is not on social media besides for sometimes he, he TikToks a couple times a week. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for us this week, guys. Thank you, as always, for listening to the podcast. It, we could not do it without you. We we love doing this. And yeah, thanks for listening. And we will see you next time. Bye. Peace. Bye.